let's dive into piecewise function now uh, let us try to to know how to sketch or to draw the graph of piecewise function so piecewise function is something that is very simple because the conditions you're going to be given the conditions you just follow what you have been given remember the main issue is to know the x values if you know the x values then you're home and dry for example let's start with the first one if I look at the first one f of x piecewise function so we have got two functions here another function is telling that x is equal to 4 and for x should be greater than or equal to 0 another one is telling us that f of x is negative 4 and for x should only be less than 0 okay so a piecewise function is a function it's a type of a function that has got more than one function so for example here I've got two functions the second question I've got three functions okay now this function has to be on one graph but how do we go about it here is the here is the deal guys the first thing I need to come up with the coordinate for the first function I'll say this is why this is X X Y so I'm going to choose let me just do three they are telling me that X for the first one x has to be greater than or equal to 0 starting from 0 I'll go 0 1 2 3 so there is no x value here it is telling me that for any value of x that I'm going to to, to plug in the answer should be 4 that's what it tells me then the second one since I've said that we have got two functions the second one is telling me that x should be less than e zero starting from zero but zero is not included so less than I'll go to I'll start with negative numbers so since zero is going to be the the highest number I'll write zero here then I'll write negative one negative two negative three what does it tell me any number I'm going to plug in as long as that number is less than zero the answer is negative four so everything will be negative four negative four negative four negative four when I do this let's now sketch you're going to see how this graph is going to come out it's going to come out very perfect okay so I can clearly see that in X values the highest number I have is um, 01234 in, in uh, positive side so 1 2 3 I end there in Y I have got negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 so negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 1 2 3 and then in X if I go here I have got what 4 in Y even here I've got negative 4 what does it tell me it tells me that the first graph is going to start from 0 comma 4 is here but at that point is it included since it is greater than or equal to it tells me that it is included okay then 1 comma 4 is here 2 comma 4 is there 3 comma 4 so it keep on going so starting from this point including everything here put an arrow because I do not know where it is ending so this is my f of x being equal to 4 then the other one since it is x less than 0 at that point is not included so the first point that is 0 comma negative 4 is not included this point is not included so if it is not included put an open circle so you put an open it not included put a closed one included okay so this one then and now negative 1 comma 4 is here 2 negative 2 comma 4 so this one keep on going this side as well so this is going in this direction then put an arrow this arrow tells me that I do not know where the graph is going okay so the sketch that I've given you the graph that I've given you is for this piecewise function so that's what it means when we're talking about piecewise function it's not something that is complicated but if you just try to understand these simple principles it's going to be easy for you now let's dive into part two okay we dive into part two so try to explore different type of questions under piecewise function and try to see if at all you can manage to solve
okay so we have g of in this case we have got three functions g of x telling me to say is equal to 4 negative x and x plus that so we follow the conditions i'll do the first one x y so allow me to put how many i'll just put three it's fine so the first one is saying x should be greater than negative greater than or equal to negative uh, positive 2 starting from positive 2 3 4 so if i put 2 there is no x here it tells me that any number that i'm going to plug in is going to give me 4 so here is going to be 4 here is going to be 4 4 let's go to the second one the second one is a bit different it's telling, <coughs> it's telling us where it is starting from and where it is ending Starting from negative 1, if you have got two numbers, starting from negative 1, ending on negative 2. So, we're starting from negative 1, then 0, 1, and 2. That's what it tells us. So, this is x, this is y. Now, since there there is x, it means that g of x is equal to negative x. So, if I plug in negative 1, it's going to be negative 1 and that giving me positive 1. So they are the answer of the 1. Okay. Let's go to the next one. If I plug in 0, 0 is going to be 0. If I plug in 1, if I plug in 1 here, it's going to be negative 1. If I plug in 2, it will be negative 2. Then when I do this, I'm done with that one. Now I go to the third one. The third one should also be simple. I have x and y so here i'm going just to get three let's just get three so they are saying that x should be less than or equal to negative one so negative one will be here because i'm starting from there then i'll have negative two i'll have two these are the negative two then negative three these are the numbers this which are less than so I have got g of x being equal to x plus 2. If I put negative 3, it's going to be negative 3 plus 2, that is negative 1. So here, negative 1. What if when I put negative what? Negative 2. So negative 2 plus 2, I will end up having 0. If I put negative 1 plus 2, I will end up having 1. I'll end there. Let's now come up with a graph. So here is my graph. Then in x values, the highest number I have, uh, I have 1 all the way to 4. So I'll say 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. In y values, or in neg a negative side of x, I have got it. negative 1 all the way to negative 3. Neg 1, neg 2, neg 3. Then, the y positive value, it ends on what? Eh? So, I'll say 1, 2, 3, 4. So, I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative side, I have got negative 1. Yeah, there's only negative Oh, no, no, no. Yes, there's only negative 1 and negative 2. So, negative 1, negative 2. That's all. So, I'm going to start with my, my first graph that I just plotted here these coordinates that I have. So we are saying that the condition was x should be greater than or equal to 2. At 2 comma 4 it is included because it is greater than or equal to. 2 is included. So I'll start. 2 comma 4 where can I find 2 comma 4? In x2 in y4 here. So at this point it's included. Then 3 comma 4 is there. 4 comma 4 is there. What does it tell me? The graph is starting from here, going this side. Put an arrow. We don't know where the graph is ending. Don't forget to put an arrow. This next question is telling us that starting from negative 1, but it is this symbol is showing us that it's not included. So at negative 1 comma 1, negative 1, 1 is not included. I'll put an open. 
this open tells me to say it is not included at that point I'll put that 0 comma 0 where is 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 is here okay negative 1 1 comma negative 1 is there what else can we see we can also see that we have 2 comma negative 2 which is here So starting from this point, going down, but that point is not included. Don't forget to put an arrow showing that we don't know where the graph is ending. The next one, I'll start with negative 1, 1. But since this, these things are not included, in fact, let's do this. This one is telling us where to end. We have ended on what? The one in between. So this one is telling us that x is less than 2 and so at that point I'm not supposed to put an arrow because I know where it is ending. Where it is ending again is less than so at that point I need to put an open as well because it is ending there. It is telling me that x is greater than neg 1 and x is less than 2. So it is telling me where to start from and where to end. Okay. Then if I do that I can now go to what? To the second one. So this second one, if I can clearly see here what I have. Okay? I'm going to have negative 3. I can start with negative 1, 1. Negative 1, 1, it is included at that point. Don't forget. It is included at that point. So what does it mean? It means that negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1 is here, meaning inside here it is included. So I'm going to put a dotted line inside. Crossed one. Negative 2, 0. Negative 2, 0 is going to be here. What else do we know? We also have negative 3, 1, which is here. So now, this is telling me that starting from this point, inside there, going this side. Now, this one, it was just telling us that x is less than or equal to negative 1. So I'm going to put an r. Because I don't know where, I'm, where, where, where this graph ends. The difference between the first one and this one is that if I go back and check this, this is telling me negative 1 is less than x, less than is telling me that x is greater than what? Negative 1. But x should be less than what? 2. So I know where to end. I'm ending on 2, but 2 is not included. But starting from negative 1, negative 1 not included. That's why I have put the end point here open, even this one open. Okay? So try to explore different type of questions based on the same um, piecewise function. And I believe you'll be able to to solve. Okay.